Hi there, this is Sam from Swiss Made Marketing and welcome to a very short update about the new Google Keyword Tool. As probably everyone knows, the old Google Keyword Tool, that's what it was called, is due to shut down anytime soon. It's being replaced by a new tool called the Keyword Planner. I'd like to show you the differences between the old and the new tool and we'll also have a look at the good news regarding SE Cockpit and um, I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that it has no negative effect on SE Cockpit, this change. Um, here we are, we have the old keyword tool still available in the Google AdWords account, so you can create yourself a free Google AdWords account, of course, over adwords.google.com. And if you click open the tools and analysis menu, you'll see you still have two options. You have the keyword tool, that's the old tool, and you have keyword planner, which is the new tool. If you open up the keyword tool, the old one, you will get a notice uh, saying that um, it will be no longer available in the next few months and you should try out the new keyword planner tool. If you open up the keyword planner tool, uh, depending on what setting you have, you might see a message saying that uh, this is replacing the old keyword tool and you have a small link which will point you back to the old tool as well for those who are used to using the old tool. Um, so let's dive right in. What are the changes between the old tool, the keyword tool, and the new tool, keyword planner tool? So the main th reason Google is making a change is obviously, as always, they want to earn more money. So with the new keyword planner tool, they're trying to combine the keyword research with your Google AdWords account with the campaigns you have. Uh, they're trying to make a, a better link there. So they're trying to make it easier for you to find good keywords for your campaign uh, so you spend more money. And they do that by um, allowing you to make estimates as to how much traffic you can generate from the keywords. So rather than just seeing an estimate as to how many people are searching for a keyword, you can also, they, they sort of have a simulator where you can see, and depending on how much you're prepared to bid per click, you can see how much traffic you can generate. So that's sort of the main big difference. Um, but there are also other differences, and we'll just go through these step by step. So I think the easiest thing to do is to just do an example in both tools. So we'll start off with an example in the old tool. So let's search for solar light. And um, you just type in a keyword phrase. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows about that. And you can set the language and the country to whatever you choose. Uh, we'll use US and English for both examples. And we'll just do a search. And in the old keyword tool, as well as in the new tool, the first thing or the default setting is they're trying to show you entire group ideas, which you can book on AdWords all in one go. Again trying to make as much money as possible. Um, but obviously with one click you can switch to keyword ideas where you can see all the separate ideas. And we're going to do the exact same thing in the new tool just to show you this is still possible but you'll see a few differences. So the first main difference is for some reason they've made a multi-step wizard now. So you start with a first step where you choose uh, what you want to do. And if you want to search for keyword ideas you would choose the first uh, setting here and as you can see, the fields are pretty much similar. So we're going to search for solar lights here as well. And you can see the targeting and customization options. Um, you know, just briefly looking at things, they're pretty much the same. You can do pretty much the same things. There is one huge difference, which we'll have a look at in just a minute. So again, if we search for these ideas in the new keyword planner tool, so now we're in the planner tool, you'll see the first thing Google shows us are uh, groups of ideas but with one click we can get the keyword ideas again. And the list looks pretty similar. So we have um, around 800 ideas in the new tool. And the old tool, let's just have a look, yeah, has around 800 ideas as well. And you can see the suggestions are pretty similar. Well, actually pretty much the same. I mean, I'm not gonna go through them one by one now, but you can see it's pretty much the same. Now, the first thing I was talking about is uh, combining in the new tool the data with your current AdWords account. So basically what they allow you to do is you can quickly uh, copy over keyword ideas and you can then say, okay, um, I'm prepared to bid within this range. So they have you know, sort of a nice user interface. And you can see how many clicks you can be getting and how much it's going to cost you. And obviously if you're doing AdWords for real, 
Um, you're obviously going to see this data based on your history and you know on your track record and everything. So these figures are going to be very, very much personalized. And we do do AdWords ourselves. And I have to say the new tool is better. So the new features, if you're doing AdWords, are in fact a help. And um, I think it's going to work out for Google. That's just my personal opinion, you know, that they did do a, a good change here. But now let's have a look at if you're just interested in doing keyword research, probably primarily for search engine optimization, there is one big difference to note. In the old keyword tool, there was this thing called match types, okay? And we always, always had quite a tough job of explaining what these different match times mean. And um, yeah, it was, it was quite difficult, this concept to grasp. And um, obviously, in the beginning, a lot of uh, internet people you know, who were doing guides got this wrong and said, you know, go for phrase type because of reason X. Uh, and it wasn't true. So I'm sure most of you know by now that if you want to find out how many times an exact keyword is searched for without any combinations, you would need to choose the exact match type, OK? So broad and phrase are usually only relevant figures if you're doing uh, Google AdWords, where you're sort of looking to, um, you know, having your advertisement show for different variations of the keyword automatically. So with the exact match, and that's what we used in SE Cockpit, you get the exact figures as to how many times these exact phrases get searched for within, obviously, the country and the language you specified. And you would have this global and local monthly searches um, column. So you could see, OK, globally, how many people are looking for this, and, and locally, so the local settings. And these two things have gone in the new keyword tool. So in the new keyword planner tool, I have to watch out how I call it. So I always have to speak about keyword planner now. Um, there's no match type. And there's no global and local. So all you have is an every monthly searches. And if you have a look at the help, <clears throat> you will see that this is the average number of searches for this exact keyword, okay, based on the location and search network targeting settings you've selected. Okay? So basically, it almost means, and there's still one subtle difference, it means that the new planner tool shows everything which you used to access via exact and which was shown here in the local monthly searches. Okay, so far so good. The other difference to note is that the local monthly searches in the keyword tool are slightly different to the average monthly searches in the new keyword planner tool. If you have a closer look at the default settings in the old tool, you'll notice that by default, you only get ideas and statistics for desktop and laptop devices. So if you wanted the ideas for um, mobile devices, you would need to change the setting. In the new tool, this is all included in the same figure. So these 18,100 average monthly searches include searches from desktop and from mobile combined. Okay, if this is a good or bad thing, you know, we can argue about that, but Google is setting a very clear trend. They want everything to be accessible on all devices. The other small difference is the cost per click. You will notice that these figures aren't the same as well. Um, in their official statement, basically what they say is, in the new tool, the average cost per click is more accurate than the old tool. That's all they say about it. So we'll just have to rely on what they're saying, that the new average cost per click is a more accurate figure than the average or the approximate cost per click you used to see in the old tool. What effect will this have for SE Cockpit customers? So here we are in SE Cockpit, and you can see that we've always had a column called monthly searches. In SE Cockpit, we never made a difference between local and global figures. We thought that information wasn't really necessary uh, to be displayed here. And um, <laughs> we could probably say that Google had a look at how we did it in SE Cockpit, and they've now incorporated that into Keyword Planner. No, that's just a joke. But you can see, maybe we were just a little bit ahead of our time. Um, so very cool to see that change. So for you as an SE Cockpit customer, uh, nothing will change, OK? So the only difference will be that these figures will start including the mobile devices as well. Uh, because once we do all our searches over the new data, 
source, uh, for the new data source used by Keyword Planner. Um, it will obviously include desktop and mobile searches. The same applies to the cost per click column. Um, this will hopefully show more accurate data as soon as we switch over to the Keyword Planner tool because Google um, claims that the new Keyword Planner tool will have more accurate cost per click data. As always, if you have any further questions, please use the comments box below or you can contact us directly via our help desk, support at swissmademarketing.com. Um, if you want to know about SE Cockpit, um, have a look at the links below. You'll see possibilities to sign up for free to uh, find out all about it. Um, in any case, look forward to seeing you on board any one of our tools. Have a fantastic day and